Welcome back to Content Cathedral. This is story developer number six, Worst Endings. In this episode, we will cover your climax's resonance, reversal, convergence, and foreshadowing to make the climax appear inevitable. I'm C. Alex Smith. If you have just happened upon this video by accident, check out our other five videos in the series at Content Cathedral's YouTube page. Our website is private, so writers can talk about their unpublished works. If you want to have access to the Content Cathedral webpage, or you want to get email announcements of our videos and web-based writer meetups, email me at authorcalexsmith at gmail.com. Have you ever written yourself into a corner? I sure have. And I never want to be there again. All your good work goes to waste if you don't have a decent ending. So even if I'm pantsing it, I want to have a presumed destination in mind. I can always change the destination if something better comes along, but I want the security of knowing I can get the characters to some ending when I'm done. Your novel's opening sells the book. Your novel's ending, done right, sells the next book. But writing a book is exhausting. By the time you get to the end, your creative juice is at a low point. That makes it hard to come up with that perfect knockout punch ending. Best to come up with the ending now, when you're fresh. So how do you get that perfect ending? In music, resonance is the same chord struck in a different octave, in a major or minor key, causing an echoing feeling in the music. In novels, images tickle the reader's memory to call up associations of other incidents earlier in the novel or in collectively common memories. The memory colors the meaning of the scene, giving it force and spinning it with irony. These resonant images remain just below the surface of the reader's consciousness, strengthening the emotions created by the scene the reader is reading at the moment. The climax of your novel should be especially supported with an underlying resonance that plays on the memory of other moments either in your novel or in the average reader's experience. Readers should feel this combination of imagery and memory as a kind of background music as sympathetic vibrations with the story's theme. Convergence is the sense that all the various characters, scenes, themes come together in an interesting way at the end of the book. This provides suspense. The reader derives great satisfaction in trying to figure out how you will bring all those far-flung elements together. The more unlikely the elements, the more satisfying this effect. Master authors create ever more unlikely convergences which unite in a way that seems inevitable in retrospect. Authors who use this technique successfully often hint at the meaningful convergence in some subtle way, usually employing resonance. So what you need to shoot for is an ending that in retrospect seems inevitable to the reader at the end, but also surprises the reader. That seems impossible. I mean, inevitable implies predictable, doesn't it? The key is in the way it seems inevitable, because you have set it up that way. Now let's see how you can do that. This exercise is derived from a lecture by Lisa Wells from the class Getting Serious About Series. She teaches at Marjorie Lawson's Academy. I recommend both of these instructors because they helped me advance in my writing abilities. Have you ever read a book that was great while you were reading it, but the ending made you want to launch the book against the wall? Or maybe you saw a movie that had you glued to the screen, but the end made you want to demand your money back. That's the kind of ending I'd like you to come up with now. That's right, I want you to come up with an ending that would make your readers so angry they would never buy another book you wrote. Now, think of nine more endings like that. Why nine more? 
Because the first one you come up with is probably something you've already seen in a movie or a book. A cliché. Once you get past the first five or six ideas, you get rid of the clichés and start to get to your own truly original creative stuff. Now that you have about ten worst endings, think about how you can rescue your protagonist from this dire ending. Take a few days for this. Once you have a few worst endings that you can turn to great endings, consider how you might foreshadow the worst ending in the first chapter, the midpoint chapter, the crisis, and any scene where the antagonist has the upper hand, in other words, the pinch points. This foreshadowing is what makes the reader feel like the ending was inevitable. The turn from the worst to the rescued is what gives the reader that pleasant bit of surprise. Now examine those endings. Is there one that has the best convergence, the best reversal, the best foreshadowing, emphasizes your theme the best? Great. Now you have a winner of a novel that gives your next novel a promotional jump start. Now wasn't that easy? Thanks for watching the story development series by Content Cathedral. Next time, we will conclude the series by uniting plotting with characters. If you are a writer and you want to join Content Cathedral, drop me a line at my email, authorcalexsmith at gmail.com.